2.56 this afternoon, Warren Police responded to the Italian American Club for a bail party for the gunshot wounds to be happy. Officers located in the parking lot on Jason Fatato, age 41. Mr. Fatato told the responding officers that the shooter was still inside the club. Responding officers entered the club and located Mr. Brian Remy, age 66, deceased. Subsequently, or currently right after that, Warren Rescue transported Mr. Fatato to the hospital. At the same time, transmission was received from the Bristol police that they were being they were receiving gunshot gunfire on Water Street. At around 3.17 p.m., officers from the Bristol Police Department responded to the town of Warren to assist in locating a suspect in the town of Warren who was classified as an active shooter. A description of the suspect was provided by the Warren Police Department and subsequently broadcast to the responding officers from Bristol. Around 3.17 p.m., as I stated, two Bristol police officers traveling in an unmarked patrol vehicle were headed to the initial scene in Warren. When these officers were on Water Street, they were using their lights and sirens to move traffic to respond to the initial scene in Warren. In the area of Water and Sisson Street, one officer reported hearing a popping noise. At that point, the second officer in the vehicle looked to his left and observed a subject matching the description that was previously given to respond to officers. The vehicle was then turned around and one officer, the driver of the vehicle, exited the vehicle, at which point he immediately became under fire from a suspect who was standing in front of 135 Water Street. The officer then immediately took cover and returned fire. The exchange of gunfire happened and at that point, At that point, officers continued to fire upon the suspect. Again, one Bristol police officer returned fire. After the exchange of gunfire was happening, the, sub the subject entered 135 Water Street in the alley. Other Bristol police officers, two of officers arrived, and together, the group of officers approached the area of 135 Water Street. I must indicate at this point that According to the officer on the scene, it was clearly that the subject had intent of harming the officer. When the officers uh, arrived in the alleyway of 135 Water Street, the subject was on the ground, motionless. He was later pronounced deceased at the scene. The subject was identified by, as Michael Roulette, age 37, of 135 Water Street. The medical examiner's office, the state, Rhode Island State Police, and also the Attorney General's office responded to the scene and assisted in the investigation. And at this point, the case is being investigated jointly by Warren Bristol Police, the Attorney General's office, and the Rhode Island State Police. Any questions? Is it believed that the suspect, Michael Roulette, died from a self inflicted gunshot wound? At this point, the cause of death has not been determined by the medical examiner's office. Has the, did the gunfire that the police officers, did the police officers flee to hit him with the gunfire? At this point, that's being investigated. The initial uh, altercation at the Italian club, they believed that that subject, Mr. Roulette, shot the other two individuals. It appears to be at this time, but we're still looking into the matter, yes. Do you know why? We do not. Did he work there? Did he have any association with the club? He did. He is associated with the club. In what way? I believe he's the president of the club. Did he have any history with you guys? Did you have any recent calls about him? Not to my knowledge at this time. Did the two victims, uh, Jason Furtado and uh, Brian Remy, did they know each other? Were they related at all? I don't know. Mr. Furtado knows Mr. Remy. 
and we understand we've seen reports, uh, Chief Souza, that he was a member of longstanding firefighter and Warren. Did you know him personally? Can you speak a little bit about him? Sadly, it was learned that uh, Brian Remy uh, was one of the victims. Uh, Mr. Remy is a more than 40 year member of the department, 30 years as an assistant chief. He was a devoted member to the department, a lifelong resident of Warren, and uh, much respected by the members of the department as a chief and as a member, as a person. He owned a business in town as well. That's correct. Was he off duty at the time? He wasn't. Yes, he was. Was he, was he still currently, as of now, serving as an assistant fire chief in the department? Yes, it's a volunteer department. He's a volunteer assistant chief, correct? Tell us about him. What was he like? Tell, tell us. About him. A dedicated member in a lot of years, a lot of history of serving the citizens of Warren, uh, day, night, storms, so on. He was responding to the call. person to have on the department, a good mentor for members as well. Was Mr. Ouellette uh, known to the police department prior? Did he have any history? Do you know uh, if he got the gun? He had the gun legally. If he purchased it legally, we have not looked into that. Do you, and do you know? You don't know uh, when he got it. If he got it recently, correct. Do you know why he had it in the club? I don't know. What, what type of gun was it? I believe it was a handgun. And you said you had no uh, prior history with him, but knew of him. Is that just from? Yeah. It's a small town. Yes. Did, did he live at one thirty? Spelling for the other two names as well. Mr. Olette is Michael Olette, O U E L L E T T E. And Mr. Potato is Jason Potato, it's F U R T A D O. And all here from here in Warren. Correct. And was there anyone else injured or any um, you know, bullets going to any houses or anything? How's the officer doing tonight? Uh, the officer was uninjured, and he's doing well. Do we know how many shots the officer fired? We do not at this time. That's under investigation, but I'd rather see it. And I'm sorry, you, you may have addressed this, but did the suspect shoot first at, at police? That is correct. And return fire? That is correct. As the two officers <coughs> in the mock car were driving north on Water Street, 
passing Sisson Street, one of the officers, the officer driving heard a popping noise, and that's when the officer turned around, exited the vehicle, and was immediately um, fired upon by the suspect. Can we uh, get the name spelled? The spelling of that officer's name? That name is not going to be released at this time, sir. Sit in the other one you did. Correct. Uh, are they on leave or anything like that? Is there any the, for the sort of standard process there? At this point, uh, that'll be determined tomorrow. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to visualize. Were they in the same car or separate cars? They were in the same car. Okay, and the driver? The driver is the officer that engaged the single weapon. And yes. while, while, the, while the gunfire was happening, there was actually a resident of Sisson Street that was driving up and approaching Water Street. And the second officer, yell to that female driver to exit the vehicle and run through the area. We have the circuit please. 41. Yeah. I mean, you guys want to add, obviously, you know, a lot of people are pretty shaken up tonight. This doesn't happen very often here. Uh, any, you know, thoughts for the community as the family mourns, the community kind of settles down? This was just an isolated incident. There is no other threat to our, our community. 